Jeff's in Chicago. Hi, Jeff. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Hi, Dave. Thanks for taking my call. Um, got kind of an interest, a different question for you. <clears throat> my wife and I have been able to get rid of all of our debt except for our mortgage. Um, you know, we built a house back in 2007, right at the peak. Um, put about 600000 into it, and, and now, um, you know, we're trying to decide uh, whether to sell it and just take our losses, uh, you know, and go and, and rent for a while and continue to suck money in the bank or or to just uh, continue with a mortgage that's, uh, that's barely over water. Um, mm-hmm. The mortgage is about three twenty five. dollars um, We've been appraised for about four twenty five dollars on the house. So um, it's, it's a very, very sell, unusual but... for a house that was worth 600000 before the crash to not be worth 600000 by now. Is there other problems yeah, well, in your area? It's um, it's a pretty rural community, and uh, we were probably at the top of the market there at the time. Okay, so you and really the seriously this area hasn't come back. You dramatically overbuilt the market. Okay, and that yeah. that would make some sense on how there is. So you've literally you, you have six hundred thousand dollars in the thing. You owe three hundred on it. Yeah, so you put three hundred. You put three hundred of your money in it, and you owe three hundred on it, and it will only bring four and a quarter. Yeah. Okay. So here's a rule of thumb. That is aggravating as crud. That hurts your feelings. I get it. It hurts mine, too, just listening to it. I'm sorry for you. You do not analyze investments, though, based on what you have in them. You analyze investments based on what they're going to become. And so the way I ask, the way you ask yourself the question, it's a sunk cost analysis that's taught in Harvard Business School. And the sunk cost analysis is a simple concept. You ask yourself, if I didn't own it, would I buy it for that today? And if the answer is no, because I don't think it has a positive future, then it's time to sell it regardless of what I have in it. So the, the way you would pose it in this situation is, if I, if I didn't own this house for $425,000 and I had $425,000 piled in the middle of the kitchen table, and would I go buy this house today? Well, you're not excited about that local economy going up at a reasonable rate like other areas have done. So you probably would not buy it again today for 425000 would you? Right. Which means you do need to take that for it and sell it and just take your losses. Okay. If you're ready That's to move. Kind of are, if you're ready to move. Are you Are you ready to move? I, didn't, I guess I didn't ask that. You yeah, we're ready. You don't like yeah, the house. You, you don't like the house. You're, you want to be living in a different community. You're, you're leave, leaving and so forth. Yeah, well, we love the house, but unfortunately, um, you know, it's just one of those things where I'm going to turn 58 this year. I'd like to be able to retire at 62 and, uh, you know, just don't see continuing to put, um, you know, $3,600 a month away in a mortgage. <clears throat> Rather, and that, that leads to the next question is, do we go and rent somewhere um, or should we buy? <laughs> no, I would definitely buy. I would just move way down because your goal here is to get the mortgage paid off in four years. It's what you just told me, right? Yep. And so you got a hundred thousand bucks or so in equity, and we're going to take that and plow it into the next property. And whatever mortgage you take, you're going to be really aggressive, and you might have four thousand dollar payments, but at least they're going to, you know, a, a five year plan or whatever it is to pay the house off very, very, very quickly because that meets with your goals of being debt free. And that's going to limit the property you buy, the neighborhood you buy in, and so forth. But that's, you know, it hits your goals because you can't have both. You can't, you know, live high on the hog and not pay the bill. You got to pay the bill to live there. So um, you can just decide which of those ways you want to go. I'm with you that we get out of debt as we move into retirement. Um, you know, if you wanted to retire in a nicer property, you might end up working a couple more years just to cause that to happen. I don't know. But because of this problem that you've run into but if that's not the house for you going forward then today's as good a day as any to sell it